My darling friend Kirsten Tibbles from Savour Chocolate School is here to cook one of her magical delights. What have you got in store today? Well, it's a bit controversial, actually. Oh, that's not like you at all. <laughs> it's a lemon meringue sandwich without the lemon curd. What? I know, but you're going to love it because it's so easy and really <laughs> yummy. I love when you say easy. So how can we get started? We're going to make the pastry first. Mm -hmm. So if you want to put the butter and the sugar into mix, okay. while you're doing that, I'm going to zest the lemon. Yep. And because we're making pastry, we have very cold butter, correct? Perfect. So then we can roll it out basically straight away. So if you're impatient like me, you don't want it to sit in the <laughs> fridge for a couple of hours. So this is where the cheat part comes in because we're adding a little bit of lemon zest to the pastry and some lemon juice to the meringue. Very nice. I like this style. So in with the lemon zest. And I think it's nice to show different ways of making pastry by adding flavours to it as opposed to just the basic shortbread um, with just vanilla in it. Awesome. So if you add the egg in. Okay, one egg. We're adding in some flour and some baking powder. Okay. So the baking powder is going to give us a little bit of a lift to make it a little bit lighter. Lovely. Once you add the flour and baking powder, don't over mix it. Just mix it till it comes together as a dough because you don't want to start to develop the gluten because that's when your pastry starts to shrink. Uh -huh. And it's not as short then anymore. It'll be a little bit more elastic. Okay, so on a nice low speed, any salt? A little bit of salt, a pinch of salt. salt. Okay. Pretty good. That is fantastic. Okay, take it out. So a lot of people, maybe it's just me, but I, a lot of people put pastry in the fridge like that. No, I would never. Now that I've I know, you. I know you <laughs> wouldn't. <laughs> but it takes too long to chill if it's in a ball, so we have to press it so it's all nice and flat. So we're going to chill this for approximately an hour. But I often cheat and check it if I make it really flat and I can get away with having it in the fridge for maybe only 20 minutes or so. And because you're so organised, you always have one prepared and this one has firmed up. I'll swap you. Okay, perfect. Mm -hmm. As I said, this is really easy, but we're going to roll pastry out and a lot of people are a little bit scared of rolling mm. pastry out, but we don't have to line any tins or anything like that. Nice. We're just That's going to good. cut some discs. We're going to lightly dust the bench top. Initially put quite a bit of flour mm -hmm. because the pastry will start to absorb that. Okay. But then we usually don't have to add much more. So we're going to roll this to approximately three millimetres in thickness. It's really up to you how thick you roll it. So I think we're at three millimetres. How does that look? I think, yeah, that's three mils for Got sure. Your ruler <laughs> I should have it on standby. Do you mind grabbing me the tray and the cutter? Of course. Okay. Any size is fine for these biscuits. I'm not going to judge you if you want to make them double the size. <laughs> I've just done six centimetres. Yep. And these go into the oven. How long are we baking them for? For about six to eight minutes at 170 degrees Celsius or until they're a nice, light golden brown colour. Lovely. So our biscuits are out of the oven yep. and actually they're really nice just as they are. Oh, they look great. Mmm, the lemon. I yeah. know. Oh, control, control, <laughs> control. <laughs> That's what we're looking for, a nice light golden brown colour. Mm -hmm. Now we're going to move on to the meringue. Okay. So we're creating what's called a Swiss meringue, which is a fancy name for a meringue, where we put everything in together, which I love, because sometimes you're not sure when to add the sugar. Correct. For a Swiss meringue, though, you must warm the sugar first. So we've actually done that in the oven. Mm. So we've set the oven at 60 degrees Celsius, warmed up the sugar, for about 15 minutes or so. So in here, some egg whites. How many, how many egg whites have you got here? It's four egg whites. Okay. In it goes. And this is where some more lemon flavour comes in. We're going to add some lemon juice in. Okay. So lemon juice is great in egg whites. It gives us a really creamy meringue because it helps to bind the protein and water together. I know your eyes are glazing over, but you really want a silky smooth and shiny meringue. Yeah, but I love to know the reasons why things come together. So adding the, the citrus in Stops there. Stops the a grainy meringue, makes it really silky and shiny. Mm, nice. We're gonna add in our warm sugar. Okay. 
And we're going to whisk this until we have a perfect, really shiny meringue. The trick is though, you can't stop it and check it frequently because you will lose a bit of air. All right, well, on it goes. We'll wait patiently. <laughs> How's it looking? Oh, so beautiful. Good. Look <laughs> at that. And that's exactly what you're looking for. Really tight air bubbles so it reflects light and it's shiny. Oh, look at you, you little meringue maker. I'm just going to have a little... Ooh, ooh, I like that. Lots of lemon flavour yes. there. Yes. Very good. I'm going to make my meringue like that from now on. <laughs> it's just perfect. <laughs> so I'm placing this in a bag. You don't need a nozzle, but I've got a 18 millimetre nozzle there. Sure. Now, don't make the mistake that I sometimes do because I get really enthusiastic and I pipe on all the biscuits. You need to save half for the tops. Okay, <laughs> understand. And now the master at work. How's that looking? That meringue is sensational. It, it just is, really it? sits up proudly. I love it. Oh, good. And then one more. Of course. And have I counted correctly? <laughs> have I got enough tops? <laughs> we do. So then just press down to ooze that meringue out just a little bit. And then this is an optional extra. We're going to toast the meringue around the edge, but you don't have to do that. Oh, no, we must do that. <laughs> I'm so happy about this. <laughs> Shall we have a taste? Absolutely. All right, which one are you going for? I know what I'm going for. The littlest one. Oh, <laughs> look at that. Mmm. Mmm. Wow. It's like lemon meringue pie. <laughs> it really tastes like that. And that meringue, it's like clouds. It's marshmallowy. It's the best. Mmm. Lucky we've got a few more to get through. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Kirst. <laughs>